Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on three-dimensional vectors. And in today's lesson, you are going to talk about location of planes in space. A, point, a plane is located uniquely in space by first obtaining the vector perpendicular to it, known as the normal vector to the plane, and at least a point on the plane. For example, in this case, this n tilde denotes the normal vector perpendicular to the plane. I think you can see this is perpendicular to the plane. P is the point on the plane. It's the foot of this perpendicular to the plane. R is any variable point along the plane. So it is x, y, z. And this L tilde is the position vector of this point R. This n tilde can be got by P2, which is O2 minus OP. So in this case, we are given the normal vector and a point on the plane. Let us see how we can get the equation of the plane. So in this case, we are going to first get the normal vector, which is P2, which and it's given by O2 minus OR, to give you this, which is X2 minus X1, Y2 minus Y1, Z2 minus Z1. So now let this value of x2 minus x1 be equal to a and the value of y2 minus v y1 be equal to b and the value of z2 minus z1 be equal to c in that case our normal vector will now be a b c but remember that normal vector n is perpendicular to p r therefore when you do these two vectors you have to be equal they have to be equal to zero I think that's the condition for perpendicular vectors PR dot N tilde is equal to zero. Now my PR is the same as OR which is R tilde minus OP which is P tilde dot N tilde equal to zero. When I open this bracket I'll come up with R tilde dot N tilde minus N tilde dot P tilde equal to zero. When I take this one the other side I'll come up with R tilde dot N tilde equal to N tilde dot P tilde. Now we are going to substitute. We know that R is X, Y, Z, N is A, B, C, and P is X1, Y1, Z1. So dotting the two, this times that will give you AX, this times this will give you BY, this and this will give you CZ. On this side, this and this will give you AX1, this and this will give you BY1, and this and this will give you CZ1. Now, if the whole of this value is equal to D, it implies that now our equation will be AX plus BY plus Z, CZ equal to D. Now, this is what we call the Cartesian equation of a plane. We have seen now to get the Cartesian equation of a plane given a normal vector and a point on the plane. What if we are not given the normal vector and a point, but we are given two lines lying on the plane or parallel to the plane? How do you do it? get the equation of the plane? So in this case, let vector A and vector B be the vectors parallel to the plane or vectors lying on the plane as shown in below so this is vector a this is vector b in this case the normal vector will be got by crossing these two vectors remember we said when you cross two vectors you get a vector normal to both vectors so in this case the normal vector will be got by crossing a with b and the point and this and the point on the plane will be got by getting the point of intersection of those two lines if, it, if at all it is not given so in this case p is our point of intersection therefore substituting that in this general equation of a plane we shall come up with r which is x y z n which is the normal vector a b c and p which is a point on the plane x1 y1 z1 so when we dot we shall come up with this line and from this form from this part if d is equal to the whole of this we shall come up with ax plus by plus cz 
equal to d as our equation of the plane now this is what we call cartesian equation of a plane and that's how they get the cartesian equation of a plane given two lines parallel to the plane now these are some of the points that should be noted one is that the equation of a plane expressed in the form ax plus by plus cz equal to d is known as the cartesian equation of a plane or simply the equation of a plane remember the, the equation of a plane can be expressed in three forms one is this cartesian equation of the plane another one is the scalar product form of the vector equation of a plane and lastly the vector equation of a plane so those are the three forms a plane can be expressed then two is that the coefficients of a b and c the coefficients a b and c of x y and z in the left hand side of the above equation form the normal vector to the plane so these coefficients a b c will form the normal vector of the plane this will be the i component j component and k component for the normal vector of this plane then the equation of the plane expressed in the form r dot n equal to n dot p is known as the scalar product form of the vector equation of the plane then the but then the equation of the plane expressed in the form r equal to o a plus lambda a b plus mu a c where a b and c are non-collinear points lying on the plane is known as the vector equation of the plane so in summary the equation of a plane can be obtained in three steps namely one you have to determine the position vector of a point on the plane and two determine the normal vector of the point normal vector to the plane and three determine the equation of the plane from the expression r dot n equal to n dot p so with that i knowledge we shall go through the solution to the following problems problem one find the equation of the plane which passes through the point one two three and is perpendicular to the vector 4i 5j and 1k so in this case we are given the normal vector to the plane and a point on the plane that means you go so this is our normal vector this is a point on the plane so for the equation of the plane will be given by r dot n equal to n dot p so my r is x y z which denotes any point lying on the plane n is the normal vector which is 4 5 1 it was given and it's that then p is the point on the plane which is 1 2 3 when i dot i'll come up with 4x plus 5y plus z which is that equal to 4 times 1 which is that 5 times 2 which is that 1 times 3 which is that so in the end i'll simplify the whole of this to give me 12 now this will be the cartesian equation of the plane now problem two they want us to obtain the equation of the plane that passes through the point one negative one two two and is perpendicular to the line x minus nine over four equal to y minus six over negative one equal to z minus eight over one so in this case this plane is perpendicular to this line meaning that the direction vector of this line becomes our normal vector and remember the direction vector vector of this line is the denominator are the values of the denominator so it will be four negative one one that's why we are putting here our normal vector as four negative one one then this is a point on the plane so we should locate it anywhere and along the plane p to be one negative two two so now still we are given a normal vector and the point on the plane so we shall use the equation which is r dot n equal to n dot p substitute for r n and p you will come up with this and the end will be this will be your equation of the plane so problem three says that find the equation of the plane parallel to the vectors five three one and negative one three two and passes through the point one two three so in this case we are given two vectors parallel to the plane and a point on the plane and in that case like we already saw to get the normal vector 
we have to cross this vector with this vector to get this normal vector. So shall come here and cross the first vector with the second vector to come up with this line and end up with 3, negative 11, 18. So by now I believe you know how to cross. So that will be our normal vector. We also know a point on the plane which is 1, 2, 3. So that point, with that point and the normal vector, we can get the equation of the plane from r dot n equal to n dot p. So substitute for r, substitute for n, and substitute for p. In the end, you will come up with 3x minus 11y plus 18z equal to 35. So that will be the equation of the plane required. So problem 4 says that find the Cartesian equation of the plane through the origin parallel to the lines this and that. So in this case we have a, an, a point on the plane and we have two parallel lines. So in this there are four. For these lines you have to first get the direction vectors of both of them which is D1 and D2 and you also have the point on the plane. Now crossing these two vectors will give you the normal vector to the plane. So we'll come and cross the two vectors to get the normal vector, which is that. And from there, we shall use the formula r dot n equal to n dot p. So r dot n, r n, n p. p is the origin, which is 0, 0, 0. And in the end, you shall come up with 2x plus z as equal to 0 as the required equation of the plane. So in this problem, you are given three points, A, B, and C, and are told to find the equation of a plane with which contains those points. So in that case, choose one point to become your base. So like point A is my base now, uh, then I will draw two lines from A to the other two points. So from A to B to be that, then from A to C it will be that. So I think you can see the arrows. So in that case, the lines on the plane will be A, B, and A, C. Therefore, when we cross A, B, and A, C, we shall be able to get the normal vector to the plane. And now this will be the point on the plane. So we have to first get A, B, which is 2, negative 2, 4, negative 3, and also get A, C, which is negative 1, 0, 2. After that, we shall cross A, B with A, C to come up with... 8, 7, 4 as our normal vector. Then from there, the equation of the plane will be r dot n equal to n dot a. So we substitute for r, n, and a. And we shall come up with 8, 7, 8, 7, 4, 8, x, 7, y, and 4, z equal to 25 as our equation of the plane. So problem 5 says that find the equation of a plane which contains the line this and passes through the point this. So unlike in the previous question problems, this one has only one line and one point. So how do we get the normal vector? In this case, we know this point which is 2, 3, negative 1. But for this line, the good thing with it is that it has the direction which is 2, negative 3, 1, which is that, negative 1, which is that and also a point on that line which is 1 negative 4 negative 1 which is that so in this case we shall get the second line by joining these two points p and a and therefore we, by that we have we will have succeeded to get two lines on the plane and a point on the plane so in that case, therefore, the direction vector of the second line, which is PA, is OA minus OP, which is negative 1, negative 7, 0. Now, PA cr crossed with the direction vector of the line, which is 2, negative 3, negative 1, will give us the normal vector, which is 7, negative 1, 17. Now, from there, we, shall, we can now get the equation of the plane from R dot N, equal to n dot p so r is x y z n is 7 negative 1 17 which is that and the point on the plane is that so when you simplify you come up with this as the equation of the plane 
So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.